So how do you plan those early stages for the caregiver, the spouse, and the person that's got the disease? Well, I think at that first visit, it's hard to really take it all in. So usually we try to bring families back to talk again. But the key is to give families an opportunity to ask lots of questions and make sure you write down your questions because it's all the little things. I think a lot of people want to know, well, how long do I have to live? Yeah. That's a loaded question. Sure is. And how do you answer that initially? Just say it's a progressive disease and we don't know? Really, we don't answer at that first visit because we don't know. Yeah. Every case is an individual. Every person's an individual and their outcome is different. So I've learned over time that we're pretty terrible at prediction. So if we're terrible at predictions, but we know we've got the disease, do you tell them, mm, you're going to have to have some assistance, but you can carry on a normal life. We'll help you with word problems early. How, how, how do you direct the patient in that early phase? In the early phase, one is still able to do. And we encourage individuals, let's say if you're still working and doing quite fine at your job, to maybe pull back in new areas. But it doesn't mean you should stop being a person. We also try to tell patients that they are still people. They are not defined by this illness. So you can go to church, you can go to social meetings, you can go to your regular work meetings. Can you work? It depends. I think it depends on the type of work. But again, we try to set up a plan for retirement, particularly in high-risk jobs. I think if you're in a very high-risk job, sometimes we talk about more immediate work cessation.